happy new year 2022. I certainly can't quite believe it's 2022, but there we go. We are here. And I thought I would kickstart the new year the way I'm hoping to go on, which is more video content for you on YouTube. So yes, it's very exciting. Anyway, hello, I'm Hayley of So Hayley Jane. If you are new here, I run So Hayley Jane, which is a sewing subscription box company. Every month I send out beautiful boxes full of gorgeous fabrics and haberdashery bits and sewing gifts. And I love it. I've been doing it about five years now. Um, and it's just, yeah, here we are. Sorry, you can see a few people walking behind me, but that's just what goes on around here. So I thought I would start the year with um, a sewing plans video, which I haven't done a sewing plans video. I don't even know when the last time I did a sewing plans video was. I don't, I think it was even before my daughter Mia was born, which is coming up to four years now, if you can believe that. She will be four at the beginning of February. I don't believe it, but anyway. Yeah, I can't remember if I've done a sewing plans video in that time. I'll have to have a look. Um, but I thought I would do that. I'm hoping that this year I will get on with a bit more sewing for myself, although I've actually got a couple of things for other people I'm planning to make um, this month. But yeah, a bit more sewing for me, hopefully, which means more content for you as well. So it's a win-win situation. Um, I hope you had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and had a lovely New Year. We, I feel incredibly grateful that we were able to spend Christmas with our families. We had Christmas Day with my parents and my grandparents and my sister. And then we went to Andy's parents on Boxing Day and his brother and his brother's family were visiting from Singapore. So it was really, really lovely to get to spend some time I know obviously lots of people had their plans completely changed due to having to isolate. I feel like it was everywhere over Christmas and New Year. I didn't do anything for New Year. I never do anything for New Year. I sat, I watched the new series of Queer Eye with a cup of tea and a glass of Baileys and some chocolate and that's my kind of New Year. So yeah, that's what that was. Anyway, I keep looking over here. I haven't done a video like this for ages, so I've actually made some notes as to what I want to talk about. I thought I would quickly mention my resolution, sewing resolution or resolution, if you will. Um, I'm not putting any crazy pressure on myself in terms of personal resolutions um, or even sewing resolutions, but one thing I've decided I want to focus on this year is to stop buying jeans because I get through jeans a lot thanks to the wear and tear, the holes that they get in uh, the inside seams um, and the busted zip was, is the latest one which was unfortunate when I was walking around a National Trust place the other day. The zip busted, luckily I was wearing a very long jumper so it was fine but I'm just fed up with jeans, they're uncut. I mean, I say that, I'm wearing jeans today, but they're such a pain to buy for. I am hoping this year will be the year that I make my own pair of jeans, um, but I've decided to try and stop buying jeans and to sew with that in mind. I love wearing dresses, I love wearing leggings with dresses, tights, I get tights from Snag. I still seem to have issues with them though. But I love wearing leggings and I love wearing dresses and I like, but I like feeling cosy. I think that's the thing about jeans and jumpers is you feel quite cosy. So I'm trying to sew cosy dresses, more jersey dresses, or even make a, um, a denim skirt. I might use a few of the jeans, pairs of jeans that I've got that are no longer wearable and try and turn them into a skirt using that old hack from bygone era of cutting open the sides the inside seams and then overlapping them and you make that like triangle and then you have to put a little insert in do you know what i'm talking about i made a few of those in the past so i might try and do that again um but yeah that's my goal 
for 2022 is to stop buying jeans and to sew with that in mind. So I'm talking dungarees, pinafore dresses, jersey dresses, maybe some trousers. I've never sewn fitted trousers before. I've made I've made pajama trousers and I've made um, culottes maybe some more clots as well. These are the kind of things I'm tr I'm thinking about at the moment. So just trying not to buy new jeans because I wear them maybe three or four months and then that's it and I can't wear them anymore and I'm terrible at getting around to um, fixing them. So I've decided just don't buy them anymore. We'll see how long that goes. Um, but let's talk about what I am planning to sew. So I've already nearly finished my first sew of 2022. I forgot to bring the fabric with me. Um, so I'll insert a picture here. I bought some of the Beatrice Ponte Roma from Sewsfaction in their Black Friday sale in a beautiful royal blue colour. And I also bought the Sew Over It Heather dress. Um, I love the style in that it looks really cosy, I love the pockets and I love that it's got the princess seams to give it that shaping. Um, but I wasn't sure if it would suit me but I thought let's just go for it. So I've nearly finished, actually it is finished, I just want to take in the, backs, the back princess seams a little bit because it's a bit baggy on the back. Um, so I'm hoping to take that in. Um, but I think it's okay. It's a really different style of dress for me, so I hope it's okay. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. I'm going out for afternoon tea tomorrow for my aunt's 60th birthday, so I'm planning to wear it tomorrow. Um, so that's, that is the first thing, to finish that. Then I actually have a couple of things that I'm gonna make for other people. So one is for my husband, Andy. Um, he really would like me to make him a couple of t-shirts. So Andy has a very long body. Um, he's six foot four and most of his height is in his body. So buying t-shirts that are long enough are quite tricky. Um, and along with the Beatrice Ponty that I bought from Sosfaction, I also bought this gorgeous teal viscose jersey. Um, so I thought just a plain top to start off with and I've bought the Helen's Closet, what's it called? Jackson Tea from Helen's Closet. Um, and I'm gonna make him the long sleeved version for uh, the cooler months. So, and it's just a gorgeous teal color. Te teal is one of his favorite colors. So that's what I've gone for. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work. It's very, very lightweight, this jersey. Um, cotton would probably be a, a better shell, but I saw this color and just grabbed it because um, it's gorgeous. So that is the next thing to make. Then for my sister for Christmas, I saw this fabric. So um, a new fabric designer company called Roo Tid, R-O-O hyphen T-I-D, um, got in touch with me to show me some of their fabrics that they are making. Um, with a view to them maybe going in the boxes in a few months time and I spotted this one and said that it I asked where I could purchase it from because it would be perfect for my sister for a Christmas present and she so kindly sent me two meters as a sample um, so my sister currently works on an organic veg farm in Dorset um, she loves the farming life. She did work in Devon a few years ago as a dairy farmer. Um, then she spent some time working in a vet's as a receptionist. So she's a big animal outdoorsy person. So she, currently she's working on a really lovely organic veg farm in Dorset with her dog Pip, who is a collie. And I saw this fabric. It might be a bit hard to show you. It's an organic cotton jersey. Um, and it's in their collection called Going Where the Wind Blows. And it's gonna be hard to show you. So it's black and it's got these little, three little sheep with a little collie dog all over it. It's 
So as soon as I saw it, I was like, that is perfect for Ella. I need to get some of that. Um, and it's really, really lovely. It feels gorgeous. The inside is white and it does feel very soft. Um, I've got two meters and I'm thinking of, I've got the patterns here, going back to basics and making this <laughs> well-thumbed, making your Tilly and the Buttons cocoa top or, or maybe the tunic for her actually. Um, that bit's coming off. So yes, I think I'm gonna make the Tilly and the Buttons cocoa tunic. I feel like it's her style. Um, she loves a tunic top or dress with leggings as well as much as the rest of us do. So I think that would be perfect. So I should be able to squeeze that, just about squeeze it out for two meters, fingers crossed. So anyway, that is that one. Can you tell I haven't done a video like this for a long time? I feel like I'm not getting my words out properly. Anyway, then I've got a couple of makes for me in mind. So a few years ago, I made a Lena, Lena wrap dress from Simple So This came in a magazine um, and I thought it was really lovely. So it's um, a faux wrap dress and the skirt just fits me so beautifully. The way it comes in at the waist and then flares out at the skirt is gorgeous. Um, and I made one a few years ago. There's actually a video of me making it, but the top half is huge on me. It was even, it was too big then. I've lost a little bit of weight since I made that. And it, yeah, it's just massive. It gapes all over the place. The shoulders are falling down. Um, and it's a shame because it's such a gorgeous fabric. It's um, a yellow fabric that was in the boxes a few years ago. Um, so yes really lovely but I hardly ever wear it because it's just too big so I do want to make another one and I've grabbed some of this off of the shelf so this was a blue viscose jersey that was in November's boxes so I'm going to keep it really basic and just make this version I probably won't add the ruffle they've got the ruffle on all of them but I, I've made this dress a couple of times so I never add the ruffle um and it's lined it's fully lined or the bodice sorry is lined um in the same fabric so it makes it really cozy as well long sleeves nice long sleeves so you can get it's super cozy it's like wearing secret pajamas the coveted secret pajamas so that is make number four for this month um and then finally I really need to start making something a bit more, slightly bit more in depth, a bit more, a bit more complicated, a bit more fitted. I've got um, a length, I've grabbed this off of the outlet shop actually, but I've got some at home that has been washed and is drying. It is the Lady McElroy Polished Pebbles Viscose Morricane that was in December's boxes. Um, another colour that I absolutely love, especially at this time of year. Um, and I'm hoping to make a shirt dress out of it, something like the Tilly and the Buttons uh, Lyra, is it the Lyra dress, uh, which is just a collared shirt dress, but it's quite loose fitting as well. So I don't think that's going to be too tricky. Or I could always go back to my fail safe myosotis dress, but I want long sleeves. That's the thing. So if I make the myosotis, I would make it with longer sleeves or like balloons. Mm, no, I just want plain long sleeves. I want to make it a really wearable everyday dress in a beautiful fabric. So nothing too sort of crazy or extra special. You know, if you were planning to make something in a fabric like this for um, a wedding or an occasion, then I would go for some fancy sleeves. But I want it to be something that I can wear every day. And I think changing the sleeves to just a plain sleeve like in the Lyra is the way to go. There you go, there's my first video of 2022, a different style to what you've been used to over the last couple of years, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have a few ideas for some other videos I'd like to do. So I really enjoyed doing Vlogmas last month, but it was full on. So I'm thinking maybe a week in the lifestyle vlog every now and then might be fun. Um, 
a sew and tell, a makes video. Let me know what kind of videos you would be interested to see. I'd love to know, um, yeah, what you'd like to see from me. Um, I'm also hoping on doing sort of like a spotlight on fabrics that are in the outlet shop, that kind of thing, because I enjoyed doing that last a couple months ago. Um, yeah, let me know what you'd like. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all really soon. Bye!